We begin with the coronavirus pandemic and new CDC data estimating that nearly 54,000 people nationwide will be hospitalized every day by the end of the month. Yesterday, COVID hospitalizations in Florida topped 7,600, nearly double the total from a week ago. The numbers not surprising as we see a record number of infections. And yes, not all of the people who have COVID are experiencing severe enough symptoms to rush to the ER, but those who are feeling worse and worse by the day might be wondering whether to go to the hospital, and if so, when? CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo joins us live from Jackson Memorial Hospital with some of those answers. Jessica? Lauren, well, what these medical experts say is that you should have a pulse oximeter at home if you're battling COVID-19, and the reason why, they explain tonight. The Omicron variant continues to surge across the country. It's spreading so fast, 95% of all COVID-19 cases right now are Omicron. And what's going on with Omicron in comparison to what happened with Delta, uh, it's about one third less of the people who get positive from Omicron end up in the hospital. But we're having more than a third of the people, uh, you know, more than three times as many people getting COVID uh, that's Omicron than the numbers of people that we had from Delta. So we are absolutely expecting to have more total people in the hospital. Both Dr. Eileen Marty and Dr. Gidenayer hey, hey, stressed hey, it does not matter what I, variant I, I, you have. If you have COVID-19, you should have a pulse oximeter at home and you should be monitoring your oxygen levels. Your, your oxygen saturation ought to be over 95. If it's less than 95, but it's, say, but it's over 90, you should worry a little bit, but you want to see whether that's a consistent problem or not. You may or may not need to go to hospital, but if it stays that way over the course of a day or so, call your doctor. If it goes below 90 and it's consistently below 90, go to the hospital immediately. That is incredibly urgent. This means your lungs are being affected by the virus. So what really scares us about Omicron and COVID-19 is when individuals lose their breath, they're short of breath. Now take a listen. These are also red flags in which you should go to the hospital. Persistent chest pain, trouble breathing, your skin or lips changing color. Not being able to stay awake. Or, or staying awake too long, right? Prolonged kind of confusion. If you have to pay attention to these things because these could be indicators that you're developing myocarditis, which is not an uncommon problem from COVID-19. And that's actually the inflammation of your heart that can lead to other problems. And again, tonight, medical experts stress that if you are battling COVID-19 to stay hydrated. I'm live in Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News tonight. Jessica, good advice there.